Hey, what's going on? It's your boy T Butter. And it's your boy Puba. Yes, and thank you for joining us on PBTV World News, where we bring the news to you, but only from our point of view. Let's get right into it. This week Sir. we have a cheetah who attacks a woman at a cat sanctuary. Um, two cheetahs um, early on Saturday attacked a woman who owned the cat sanctuary. Um, the lady was hospitalized with 40 puncture wounds. Um, now, the lady owns and operates Panther Ridge Center, which provides homes for exotic animals. Okay. Okay. So, what I would like to say to the cheetah is, congratulations for a job well done. Excellent work here. Um, haven't we learned from Sick Freedom Roy that you have to leave these wild animals alone? Okay, this isn't Chester the Cheetah here. He's not walking around on two feet with <laughs> shades on, offering you a cheesy snack. This is a real cheetah. A real he probably cheetah. looks at you as a Cheeto. Yes. All right, so for future reference, if you don't already know, leave wild animals alone. <laughs> T.I., the king of the South. Hmm. I argued that at a point, but now I think he is the king. He is. Now, the recorder artist was arrested last October for accepting three machine guns, two silencers, all right? Now, after the ATF got the warrant, they searched the crib. Before searching the crib, they said, hey, let's check, let's search the cars first. Why not? They yeah. found three guns in the car, which ones were loaded. So now we're up to eight. Then they search inside the house and find six guns, which five of them were loaded. Now, I'm no mathematician or accountant, but that sounds to me like 12 guns and two silencers. Sounds like jail time to me. Yeah, it sounds like jail time to me. But only one year and 1,000 hours of community service. Unbelievable. Now, that makes me think of Prodigy, who just had a little gun. How many? One. How much jail time you got? Three and a half years. That makes me think about Shine. Mm. 10 years. You're still in jail. Still in jail. 10 years. And we don't even know if his gun really went off. T.I., you're the king. And I want your lawyer. I think we need to call T.I. Yeah, yeah, please. Actually, we need T.I. on the show. Yeah, Jason G to make it happen. <laughs> In other news this week, Remy Ma, rapper Remy. Remy Ma, found guilty of assault charges. Um, last week, Remy was convicted of assault charges for shooting her friend, Makita Joseph, outside of a New York nightclub last summer. Now, the reason Remy shot her friend is she accused her of stealing $3,000 $3, from her purse. <laughs> so, um, Remy faces up to 25 years in prison, and after hearing her conviction, she cried in court, and you can actually hear her wailing in the hallway while you were still in the courtroom. Uh, now, Remy. Yeah, the same Remy who... We gangsters and gangsters don't dance, we boogie. So never mind how we got here with burgers and hoodies. We don't we don't <laughs> pay admission and the bouncers don't check us and we walk around the metal detectors. <laughs> We're ready. Yeah. Get used to walking through the metal detectors. <laughs> Let's go to sports. Jose Canseco, back in the news again. He's written a new book titled Vindicated, which is a follow-up to his first all-tell book titled Juiced. Now, the book drops on April 1st, I believe, but there's a guy, a freelance writer uh, based in Boston named uh, Mr. Lavin, I believe, and he has read an advanced copy of the book. Now, according to Lavin, Conseco wrote that he introduced the Dominican to steroids. What Dominican? You don't know? A Rod. He's yes, A Rod. He's Dominican? Yes, he's Dominican. A Rod, yes. Now, he also writes that A Rod tried to bang his wife, Jessica, repeatedly. Now, they asked A Rod, hey, what do you know about the steroid allegations? You trying to bang his wife? You know what he said? I have no reaction at all. I don't know how to answer that. Why do Spanish people never know? Yeah. I don't know. You I don't know. know. You don't know? I, I don't know, Papi, I don't know. They never know. Now, this is what I gotta say. I'm a diehard Yankee fan. So let's run down A Rod's resume. $250 million contract. Mm -hmm. He frequents illegal po poker joints. Mm -hmm. He runs around with a side whore out in open. Mm -hmm. And now he's taking steroids. And what do we get the fans of the Yankees? A wild card berth. A Rod, 
Living La Vida Local. Living La Vida Local. Thank you for nothing. Slip the minute again. <coughs> Slip the minute. I knew it. I'm done. And then um, Desperate Man News. Um, oh, okay. Bringing it back. For all you desperate men out there, we have a new champion for the desperate men out there. And he goes by the name of Pat Poos. Pat Poos, Pat Poos. Yeah, very desperate. Pat Poos, let me tell you why he's desperate. Pat Poos and Remy Ma, the same Remy Ma facing 25 years in jail, <laughs> are actually set to get married. Now, Pat Poos states that he was going to marry Remy on April 26th on a yacht. I guess he was renting it. You know he can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. And um, now, since Remy has no bail, he plans on marrying her in jail. So hell of a guy. Yeah. He's a stand-up guy. No, he's not. He's a desperate man. <laughs> and what that tells me is that for all you guys who want to be rappers out there, let me tell you something. You are not automatically guaranteed groupies or groupie love. That's Look right. at Pat Poos. When you resemble the Geico Lizard, you're gonna have to take it how you get it. And I guess the way he needs to get it is conjugal visits in jail. So, Papoos, you're the new number one desperado for 2008. <laughs> well, it's that time where we have to go. We are leaving you on this marvelous Monday, but we're glad you came yep. and joined us yep. for the PDTV World News. It's your boy T Butter. It's your boy Pooba. We'll see you next week. Check us out every Monday and also check our page. We got another clip waiting for you this week. Signing out. Peace.